in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Dear students, today I will answer your mechanics exam for Pierce and Excel level. The exam was taken on Wednesday, 17th of January 2024. Paper reference code is WME01-01. Let us start question number one. Figure one shows a small horizontal ring threaded onto a light in extensible string. One end of the string is attached to fixed point A on horizontal ceiling and other end of the string is attached to fixed point B on the ceiling. A horizontal force of magnitude 2 Newton acts on the, on the ring so that the ring rests in equilibrium. It is in equilibrium at point C vertically below B with the string taut. The line of action of horizontal force and string both lie in the same vertical plane. So it is acting vertically, so this angle is 90 degree for sure. And the weight of the ring will act downwards, and both forces are in the same line of action. So you can draw here the force or weight. The line of action of horizontal force and the string both lie in the same vertical plane. The angle that string makes with the ceiling at A is theta, where tan theta equals to 3 over 4. The tension is the string T Newton, the mass of the ring is M, therefore this weight will be Mg, capital M, Mg. So this is string, string always acting this way, tension and tension along the string will be like that. So you can mention these forces here. And this is ceiling. That's it. This is the diagram. And uh, one thing is that that this system is in equilibrium. And second thing, whenever this tan is given in the question, uh, this is a big hint for you guys. If you are doing mechanics exam, whenever and tan theta is given, best thing draw a triangle, right triangle. Find the other two trigonometric ratios, sine and cosine, straight away. No need to read the question, just only this is the hint for you guys. Okay, it will help you out. So, what I will do in this question, first of all, I will find the other trigonometric ratios, sine theta and cosine theta. I will draw a rough triangle here, like that. So, this is theta, and we know that tan is uh, opposite over adjacent. So, this is 4. By Pythagoras theorem, we can find this one 5. So, 3 square plus 4 square, so hypotenuse could be found by using Pythagoras theorem, it will be 3 square plus 4 square, and for sure you will get the answer 5. Now all the sides are given, you could find the value of sine theta, that is equals to 3 over 5, and cosine theta, that is 4 over 5. So this is very important step for this question. Because system is in equilibrium, therefore we can write as upward force is equal to downward forces and leftward force is equal to or rightward forces. Best thing produce this one backward. If this angle is theta, you can find this angle as well. It is also theta. We can resolve uh, this tension into its components, horizontal and vertical component. Vertical component will be equal to T sine theta, and a horizontal component will be T cosine theta. Uh, this is theta because uh, this angle is theta and both angles are alternative angles. Two lines are parallel, these angles are called alternative angles and alternative angles are always equal. So now this diagram will help you out how to find the value of tension and uh, mass as well. So first of all we can apply the rule upward forces because system is in equilibrium. So you can write as upward forces equals to downward forces. Uh, because system is in uh, equilibrium, we can write the upward forces equal to downward forces in state of equilibrium. What are the upward forces here? They, uh, there are two upward forces. They are T sin theta and T. So T plus T sin theta will be equals to the downward force that is Mg. So this is the one equation we can get and other equation the horizontal forces like this. I will take the right side positive and left side negative. So we can write the rightward forces equal to the leftward forces because system is in equilibrium. Rightward force is 2 Newton and leftward force is T cosine theta. 
So we can write as t cosine theta equals to 2. So these are two equations. This is your equation number 1. And the value of cosine theta is given there. I already told you. Uh, this will help us here. So t cosine theta substitute the value of cosine theta here. 4 over 5. And it is equal to 2. So t will be equals to 5 will multiply here. It will be 10. 10 divided by 4. And the answer of t will be equals to 2.5 Newton. So this is the answer for first part. First part is done. Now for second part, uh, we need to find the value of m. If you substitute this value, substitute t equals to 2.5 in equation 1. So equation 1 is uh, t plus t sin theta it will be equals to 2.5 plus 2.5 sin theta equals to mg and uh, mg you can use the 9.8 here if you want 9.8 yes. substitute the value for sin theta as well so it will be 2.5 plus 2.5 and substitute the value of uh, sin theta that is 3 over 5 equal to 9.8 m we can write as 9.8 m equals to answer of left hand side is 4 and m equals to 4 divided by 9.8 m will be equals to 0 0.41 0 0.41 kilogram so this is the answer for second part uh, so question number one is done